everybody, it's Rebecca from the band Dirty Cello. Now when you're first learning how to play a blues solo, it can be a little hard to figure out what to do. So in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to use the same lick, but we're going to tweak it a little bit when we get to a different chord. So we call this one following the chord changes. So you can download the uh, PDF below or you can watch the notes on the screen. So here is lick number one. Three, four. original lick. This is the turnaround. Let's try it together. So the original lick. Here it's tweaked. to move on to lick number two. Here we go. Three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
last but not least, here is lick number four. Three, four. <laughs> that I kept calling the turnaround. What that is, is that a way, that's a way to sort of signal to the band that you're done with your solo and kind of cue them for the next 12 bars that are going to happen. So I'm Rebecca from the band Dirty Cello and you just learned how to follow the chord progressions in a blues solo.